Step 3. Creating a Bell Tower Select the 2.3.1 point Creating a Bell Tower preset view in the navigator. Change the geometry method in the info box to orthogonal. Open the Object Tools Settings dialog box. Choose the Find Library Parts feature. Type cube for the keyword and click the Find button. Select the cube object and set the parameters as shown. Place it as shown. Now return to the dialog box and select the pyramid object. Set the number of the side and the structural dimensions to 8. Define cone length as 7.5 meters. Set the angle of rotation to 22.5 degrees. In the Preview and Positioning tab page, set base height to 25 meters. We will need to modify this later, but for now this will help you to develop your design. You don't need to define the bounding circle radius exactly, because this can be assigned to the perimeter of the cube after placing the object. Activate the floor plan window and place the object. As you can see, you have to modify the base size. In order to do that, select the object and click as shown. On the appearing pet palette, choose Stretch. Resize the pyramid such that its boundary box corresponds to the perimeter of the cube object. Next, go to the 3D window by activating the 2.3.2. Creating a Bell Tower perspective view. Activate the Solid Elements Operations function in the Design menu. This allows you to create complex shapes using Boolean operations, including subtraction, addition, and intersection. Now, drag a copy of the pyramid object serving as an operator element. First, select the object, then activate the command. Drag a copy situated in the Edit menu Move panel. Select the new object and open the Settings dialog box. In the Structural Dimensions tab page, set the angle to XY plane to 270 degrees. Click on one hotspot as shown. Select the Drag Horizontally command in the Context menu. Assign the pyramid object that overlaps the cube element as shown. With the object still selected, change the layer of the pyramid object in the info box. Select the operator elements layer. As you have to cut four edges of the cube, you have to possess four operator elements. To do so, reselect the object and activate the Edit, Move, Multiply command. Activate the Rotate option and the number of copies to three. Check to make sure the vertical displacement is set to off. Also make sure that the increment option is active. On the perspective view, set the peak of the tower as the center point of the rotation and any point of the operator pyramid as the target. Define the angle of rotation as 90 degrees. Now select the cube object. Click on the Get Target Elements button in the Edit Targets and Operators dialog box. Next, select the four pyramid objects in wireframe. Click to Get Operator Elements. After defining every element of the operation, select Subtraction and click the Execute button. The operation does not modify or delete the operator element. After performing the operation, you can hide the layers of the operator elements without resetting the modified shape. Hide the operator elements layer to see the model without the operator elements. 
To redefine the 2.3.2 point creating a bell tower perspective view, click the settings option at the bottom of the navigator. In the appearing dialog box, click get current windows settings and hit OK.